Hi, Damon Mercy Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at how to remove metadata from a file. We're going to actually take a look at what data is contained within a file and why you might want to do this. And I'm going to show you how you set up some shortcuts to quickly manipulate files ready for publishing to the internet, something like that. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I've got a couple of original photos here. What I'm going to do, if I open this photo up with photos, under here we've then got the information button. So we can actually see we've got a picture of a lake here. If I click on information, straight away we can see that this was taken with an iPhone X. We can see the date when the photo was actually taken and the location of where the photo was taken to. If I then open this other file, again here we can see uh, we've got camera details where it was taken. But we're only seeing a small amount of the actual metadata here. So what I'm going to do is close this. And I'm actually going to open, say, this image into uh, this little shortcut I've set up. And I'll show you how to do this in a moment. So here you can actually see all of the metadata that's contained within a file. And specifically in here you've got things like the camera serial number, potentially lens serial numbers, which can actually place who took the, cam the photo, when. And you've got things like the original date and time when the photo was taken, which is from the camera. And this metadata date is different to the file dates that you'd be viewing elsewhere in the file. So quite often it can be useful to learn how to uh, choose what information you want to actually share when you upload that photo to a website or even send it off for a photographic lab for printing. So what I'm going to do is just show you how we can uh, manipulate this data. And then I'm going to show you how to set up these uh, various icons to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is work with a copy of these photos. So I'm just going to control C and control V and create a copy of these. So as I've got a copy here, first thing I'm going to do on these two is strip the metadata. I've set a little shortcut there to do that. You can see it's actually backed these up as well. And now if I actually open this again with photos, actually click into the info you can see in here we've actually got no information and it's actually today's date that's contained within the file and again on this photo exactly the same again so let's look at what i've done here to set this up so this has basically been done using exif tool so if i come back here the first thing i'm going to do is delete this folder and i'll copy these again so i'll create another copy and in here, I'll just to show you we've got the uh, details. If I do properties and details, you can see the uh, original metadata is back in the files. So we can quickly go into a command prompt. And then here, we can actually run a command, exif tool. Now exif tool is not included within Windows, and I'll leave a link on how to install and set up Windows uh, with exif tool here and below in the description. So with exif tool, we can actually just do exif tool all, and this will display all of the metadata. If I put a star here to specify the files. So you can see for both files there, it's actually displayed the metadata. And to remove the metadata, it's as simple as saying all metadata equals nothing. If I now run that, you can see actually two files were updated. If I then rerun the command here, you can see both of these files then have very little metadata contained in them. So how do we go about setting up these icons? So quite simply, all we need to do is create a new shortcut. And for the tool, I'm just going to use Exif tool. And just click next. And we call this remove all meta data. We can then go in here and actually modify the properties. So we can see this is actually put in the path to the exif tool once installed and set that up. I'm then going to specify on the command here that I want to set all metadata to equal nothing and we don't need to specify anything else there. The only other thing I'm going to do is change the actual icon and if we delete the original file press OK. 
then we can choose a, an appropriate icon for the uh, removal. So in this case, we'll just put the stop icon. So we can see straight away, we've now created a new shortcut to remove all metadata. So let's uh, go back here, we'll delete the copy and we'll recreate the copy. And then from here, I'm gonna drag that file onto there and we'll see then if I do the uh, properties and details, that all of the metadata has been removed from that file. And you can see it's already, when it's doing this, is creating an original backup copy. Again, we can modify the command line here to actually get rid of that. Um, if we put on the end here to uh, not include the original, and then if we say overwrite the original, and then apply, we'll say OK. And so now if I take this picture and drag that onto there, we can see that this has now been updated. And if I do properties on here, we can see straight away that all of the metadata has been removed. So let's have a look at some of the other things I've set up here. So what I've actually done is create this publish metadata. If I go back to the originals, I'm just going to start again with the original ones. What I've done is set up this publish that I can literally drag a folder or an individual file on. And if I now go in here and do a properties, we can see under the details, that I've actually set the author as myself and the copyright to be Mercia Solutions. We can also set up additional items there to maybe add in, uh, say, an author or something like that. Um, but let's uh, have a look at this syntax. So, like the other uh, command line, I've basically set up the exif tool. And first of all, here I've say all equals nothing, which strips and removes all of the uh, metadata from the file. I've then set the OR artist to be myself and the copyright to the company Mercia Solutions. And again, I've tagged this to say overwrite original. And set this then by changing the icon and choosing the tick in this case. So what this means is you literally can drag files onto there. The view and wait, which I've set up, launches Active tool and displays all of the metadata that's contained within the file. And to do that one, slightly different. So here we've actually set this with using CMD with the tack K, which keeps the window open after the command's completed. Um, again, I'll leave shortcuts to these in the description. So again, when this runs, the command prompt's left open, so we can actually view the output of Exif tool. So I've set one basic field up, but one thing that might be useful is to create another shortcut. And we can actually set up multiple things. So if I set up another exif tool, exif tool, and I'm going to actually say um, set comment to demo. That. So I'll now go in and modify the properties of this. So on the end here, I'm just going to do a tack. And the comment field in Windows is actually called XP comment. I'm going to set that to equals. Uh, this is a demo. And we'll need quotes around this because there's a space. So we'll put another set of quotes on that. And we could also set another field here if we want, just by specifying the fields. I will also um, leave a list of all of the writable fields that Exif tool can write as part of the description in the video. And you can also bring this up by running the command. So if I was to launch Exif tool here and do list W. This lists all of the writable uh, fields that can be written. And you can see there are literally hundreds and hundreds of fields that you can manipulate with Exif tool. So let's come back to this. I'll just change the icon here. 
So again, we've got the default EXIF tool one. So we're going to remove that and say OK. Let's have the person icon there. And we'll say apply. OK. So I'm just going to bring this picture up. We've got properties. And we'll go to details. And we can see at the moment there's no comment in here. OK. So now I drag this onto here. See this runs. And when I do a properties, again, we can see this is now appended to the file. This is a demo. You notice that it's not actually stripped the other uh, fields from the file. And because the XP comments field was empty, it's appended the details to it. And again, we, by default, Exif tool creates these original backup files. And we can turn that off by appending the uh, override original. Now do bear in mind here that if you run this on an original set of files, you will wipe out or modify the metadata. And this is not something you would generally want to do to your original files. Um, as it contains a lot of useful information such as the lens type, the camera, the color spaces and things like that. And removing all that information could actually be uh, a disadvantage in the future for you. Let's uh, run this one here. And just do a properties again. So you can see this is now updated. And of course, we can actually set this to manipulate 10, 20, 30 fields, or even more in one single command line. Oh, I hope you found that uh, useful. I think uh, if there's some interest, I'll look at uh, how we can actually automate a complete workflow to maybe even resize the images, add a watermark, and uh, manipulate them in the future. Um, do feel free to comment, um, like, and subscribe um, if you found this useful. Thank you.